Xanthi, we're here talking about a classic Christmas moment and a wonderful gift for anyone to receive, which is a hamper. But rather than buying something off the shelf, we thought it'd be interesting to talk about doing a bespoke hamper, creating something, knowing that each and every item in it is going to really hit the mark with the person's tastes, flavours and preferences. Great. Well, we've got, um, to start with, something that's very close to my heart. I do think that non-drinkers get forgotten a bit at Christmas. What I've got here is this beautiful jewel box of little bottles, which have been made by a chap called Matthew Dukes, who's a wine expert. And these bottles are shrubs, so they're vinegar-based drinks, which sounds awful, but actually they're incredibly sort grown of up mellow, flavor. Mm. grown-up flavours. And lots of people are going alcohol-free or cutting down, so it's a lovely idea. For the people who are having a little tipple, I've put, instead of the traditional port, I thought, have something a little bit more a la mode, which is a pre-mixed Negroni from a lovely company called Vault. Open it up, pour over ice with a slice of Christmassy orange you've got lying around and the party gets started. Gorgeous. And gorgeous <laughs> after a meal as well. Yes. Ways. I can see some beautiful charcuterie at the front, which is something fresh for a hamper, which is really nice. Yes, I think it's great to have something fresh like this. These charcuterie have been made in Sussex, they're British in fact, by a chap called Drew Baker who won MasterChef a few years oh, yes. back. Yes, well he's now making these fantastic hams and in fact Tempest Foods, which is the company, won the top prize at the British Charcuterie Awards about three years ago. And I picked out a chutney by a company called Dabba Drop, who make delicious Indian food, and their chutneys sound really fun. These chutneys are based on Indian spices, so they've got a real kick to them, but they're also made with tamarind, which has a lovely sherbetty quality that really wakes up your palate, which, after all that rich food mm. over Christmas, isn't such a bad thing. Yeah, that sounds <laughs> wonderful. And still in the, that sort of area of delicious things that you can just put out and enjoy, which is a brilliant cheese. I think most mm. hampers, if they've got cheese in them, it tends to be a Stilton, that's the classic. I went for a cheddar, which is beautiful, sort of cloth wrapped, traditionally made, because it's very versatile cheddar, isn't it? it more than Stilton, although yeah. I love Stilton, it does tend to linger a little bit into January, doesn't it? <laughs> um, and the great thing about cheddar is that it's so good for cooking and for using in dishes that it will all get eaten up. Yeah, no absolutely. Problem. And some crackers to go with it. Now moving on to things that are a little bit sweeter, this lovely jar of delights is one that might divide the audience. One. Yes, this is licorice, chocolate coated licorice. They yep. do have the most amazingly mellow flavour, not kind of medicinal mm. in the way that some licorice can be. Yes, yeah, I think they're a real grown-up treat and I think it's a real sort of try something different. You might not have had it before right. and it will excite them or possibly they'll then re-gift it to someone else. But <laughs> Now, I should mention a couple of other sweet treats that I think really no hamper mm. is complete without, which is mince pies and then Portland & Mason. Christmas pudding. Now this one's vegan, but they've got a great range, haven't they? And they're also the only big producer I know who make a Christmas pudding using beef suet. Obviously, no good if you've got vegans or vegetarians around the table, then this is the one to go yeah. for. So yeah, it's all about tailoring for the person you're giving mm. the gift to. A couple again of classics, but we've given them a bit of a twist. Tea and coffee. The tea here is an Earl Grey, but there's lots of different ones. Mm. The Rare Tea Company, and they really care about where the tea comes from, it's doesn't very it? Ethical. Which is really mm. great. And talking of ethics, Coffee, that's a lovely thing to have in a hamper. This one by Yala, it's very eco-friendly, it's very ethical. It's zero carbon, it's delicious coffee as well. Very important. And just to round things off, the last thing that we've chosen instead of a jam or a, a traditional conserve, something quite trendy, I would say. Yes, this is pistachio paste and it's just delicious. It makes the most amazing ice cream. Mm. And I think you had a great tip for it. Yes, well what I do with panettone at Christmas is that I cut it almost like a cake into rounds mm. and then stir some pistachio paste through whipped cream, mm. a sort of very modern version of Christmas cake that's not so heavy. So Gorgeous. lots of food for thought, no pun intended, um, to make things a little bit different but to still give someone something really delicious to receive at Christmas because everybody loves those culinary treats. Completely, I hope I'm on your Christmas list. <laughs>